are you really who you think you are? Many assume that certain factors such as ethnicity, culture, environment, and social media defines who you are. But there are other key terms to consider, such as glass self, social comparisons, self-fulfilling prophecy, self-concept, and self-esteem that contribute to who you are. Most people want to know who they truly are, how others perceive them, and how these factors or key terms influence the perception of oneself. By analyzing these factors and key terms, one can get a better sense of who they are and how they are viewed by others. Applying these factors and key terms will give you a better understanding of oneself or others' perceptions of you, resulting in strong communication skills, communication tactics, and the way you navigate through life. Using factors to better understand oneself. 1. Ethnicity influences who you are. Ethnicity can determine what language you speak, such as Italian. Ethnicity can be seen in the types of food you eat, such as spaghetti, if you were Italian. 2. Culture is important because it is already a part of you, passed down from generation to generation. Culture can influence how you view things, such as religious beliefs. Culture can determine what habits you may have, such as what you eat or how you dress. 3. Environment affects oneself. The environment that you were raised in can affect how you cope with certain situations, such as feeling unsafe in a high crime neighborhood as a child. 4. Social media has an impact on you. It can bring you up or tear you down, such as when you compare yourself to someone else or if someone is rude to you online. Social media can change your view on things, such as how you want to vote by making you feel that you are outnumbered and that makes you wrong. Understanding oneself using key terms. 1. Glass self is the way we view ourselves based on other people's reactions towards us. Glass self can be observed when someone discovers that you are a good listener and constantly comes to you with their issues or thoughts. 2. Social comparisons have two dimensions. Superiority, inferiority, and similarity and differences. Examples of superiority and inferiority are looks, strength, and how smart someone is. Examples of similarity differences are age and personality. Three, self-fulfilling prophecy are thoughts or action patterns that leads a person to develop a false belief resulting in a behavior that favors this false belief to come true. Self-fulfilling prophecy can be seen when someone is scheduled to take a test and takes it feeling as if they are going to fail, then does. 4. Self-concept is how an individual views themselves. Self-concept is always changing because we view ourselves differently based on different situations and how others view us. 5. Self-esteem is how we evaluate ourselves and the judgments we make. We evaluate good, bad, positive, and negative things about ourselves, but we must keep in mind that not every judgment carries the same weight, whether it is positive or negative. Application of these factors and key terms will heighten your self-awareness and open your eyes to other people's, react, other people's perception of you. It will give you an advantage in the long run. In conclusion, take some time to spend with yourself and become your own best friend that knows you like only you can.